might remember before that we had the plate of Pythagoras, and this time we have one that's a little bit different. There's still a right angle triangle in the middle. Olive and Zeta, can you tell me what kind of triangle that is in the middle? It's, uh, it's still the right angle, but it's scaling? Scaling, because it has three different lengths, right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about the squares? What's different about the squares built off of the sides of the triangle? No. Okay, they're, they're like cut up. They're cut up, right? Very small. Right, so on the side that's blue, how many tiny squares are there? Nine. Nine. Zeta, will you make a slip that says nine? And cut it out, and you can label it right under that square. Mm -hmm. And so put it right under that square. And then how many little squares are there on the bigger yellow square? Come around so that I can see your faces. Um. Sixteen. Sixteen. So Zeta, go ahead and make a slip that says sixteen. And now the red square. How many tiny little squares make up that one? 25. 25, so we'll write 25 on a slip. How did you count that fa so fast, Olive? Oh, I did this one by threes, this one by fours, and this one by fives. 25. Now, can you remember what we found out about a, a right angled triangle with the first plate. What did we say? Something about the square plus the square. Oh yeah, the square plus the square equals the big square. Right, so the small square is worth how many? Nine. Nine, and the middle square is worth how many? Sixteen. So what's 16 plus nine? Uh, 25. 25, you're right. So can you see if you can take all of the red ones out and put all of the yellow and blue ones in in a nice pattern where the red ones were, and then the red ones can go where the small blue and the medium yellow one were. I like the nice pattern you put the red ones. So what did we just prove? Um, that 9 plus 16 is 25, and you can fit the 25 in the 9 and 16 squares. Awesome. Thank and I made a smiley face. Thank you for your help. <laughs>